Hey guys, this is Babbling Brooke. I just wanted to quickly say that this video is about um, trying to create a healthy sex life between the average man-woman couple. That's where my expertise lies because I am in a happy relationship. This is not about me gaining male attention or anything like that. Um, I really hope that this video helps people because I feel that feminism has really damaged has really damaged relationships between men and women. And I feel that this can kind of be my way to help in the area that I have some perspective on. So I hope you guys enjoy and I love y'all. Y'all ready women? This is gonna blow your fucking mind. Men do not fully enjoy the sexual experience unless their partner is enjoying it too. They don't want to hurry up and get it over with just so they're satisfied. They're not a wham, bam, thank you, man kind of group. No, they're not. They want to please you. They want you to be happy. They really do. They want to please women. It's about fucking time that women actually gave them the chance to show that. Okay, so obviously I'm not talking about casual dating, casual sex. I'm not talking about things like that. I have been with the same man, <sighs> the same awesome man, for 13 years. And we've been married for almost 10. And that is where my expertise lies, in a long-term relationship that has a healthy sex life. I'm not talking about players. Yes, those guys will just want the wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and be gone. That is not who these videos are for. What I'm talking about is the sex lives of people who are in relationships, in committed relationships, the average, what you would call the normal, really healthy relationship between man and woman. That is who I'm making these videos for. So one other quick disclaimer here, I am talking about, there are various reasons women don't, don't enjoy sex. I'm not talking about rape victims. I'm not talking about people who have had bad experiences with sex or abuse. Like I said, this is the average man and woman. I'm, the only reason I, I'm doing these disclaimers is because I've seen comments on YouTube videos and people, oh, but this, but that, but this, but that. I'm not talking about actual victims of any kind of sexual abuse. This is for the average man and woman in an average relationship. Want to make that clear. So a big reason that women don't enjoy sex is insecurity. Uh, and I think this is like the biggest reason. The reason that we have so much insecurity about it is because we are taught from a very, very young age that sex is bad. Sex is dirty, sex is icky, sex is wrong. <laughs> and this is extremely damaging to us. We're told that all these things, all of these things, oh yeah, but then when you're married, it's a good thing. Okay, so when we get married, some like, uh, we're supposed to just, you know, like flip some internal switch and it's great? No, the damage has already been done. That wall has already been built. You know, there's already been a wall built up to tell us, nope, it's bad, it's bad, it's dirty, it's wrong. That wall is extremely hard to tear down. And it's, you have to actually really, really work at it and realize that it's there in the first place to even start working on tearing it down. And it is there with many, many women. You would be amazed. Um, by insecurity, we also worry about things like how we look, you know, we, and, and you can't worry, ladies, you can't worry about how you look when you're making love. You, if you're worried about sucking in your gut, or how your, how your hair looks while it's flung back on the pillow, <laughs> or, you know, is my lipstick, if, if you're focusing on anything about how you look or anything, you're not relaxed enough to enjoy sex or achieve orgasm. There's no way. There is absolutely no way. You can't worry about those things. You think men are worrying about those things? So why are you? By the way, I promise you the sexiest thing in the world to a man, to your man, is watching you enjoy 
what he is doing to you and knowing that he's the one that made you feel that way. There is absolutely nothing sexier to a man than that. And you can't do that. You can't be that sexy if you're trying to suck in your fucking gut. So let it go, ladies. Relax, deep breaths. Be comfortable. Trust your man. Relax. Enjoy. I know it's hard, but shouldn't be. Tear down these walls. Just deep breaths and enjoy. Do not worry about how you look. Do not worry about sucking in your gut. Do not worry about trying to look thin. Do not worry about all of these stupid, crazy, oh, do I have stretch marks? Can he see them? Blah, blah. Shut up. Enjoy it and relax because guess what? He's going to enjoy it that much more because you're enjoying it and he's never truly satisfied unless he knows you are. And women don't fucking get it. I just, you know, I really wish that I could like just drill that into everybody's head because it really bothers me that they honestly don't believe me when I tell them that. Eh, chicks. So I know this has just kind of been like an introduction to like what I'm going to do with this series because I am going to make it a series. Um, but I wanted to tell you what I, what my goal is in this. My goal is to talk honestly, honestly about sex. Explain to women how men really feel about it because they really, honestly, women really do think that men just want to get theirs and, and go away or get theirs and go to sleep. And and they've been told this their whole lives, and now they're being told it even more by feminists. Except for, you know, the part about leaving you in a ditch. The feminists will add that in. Anyways. <laughs> I want to try to help women who don't fully enjoy this tear down those inner barriers that they have. And so they can enjoy the satisfaction of truly having a healthy sex life with their partner. There's nothing more beautiful than that. I want to do exactly the opposite of what feminism is doing to relationships. It is tearing men and women apart. And I want to help fix that rift, help bridge that gap between them that is lacking in their sex life. Everything that they do, I want to cut the bullshit. I want to completely cut out the bullshit. I'm sick and fucking tired of political correctness winning out over truth and honesty. It is crap. It is bullshit. I don't give a flying fuck about being politically correct. I care that people are miserable in their relationships and they don't have to be. They could be happy, but they don't allow themselves to be because of various reasons of psychoses that have been building up in their heads forever. And if I can do anything to help that just a little bit, then I did my good deed. Anyhow, I know these are really lofty goals, but they are very important ones. I've always been one of those people whose friends come to her when they need to talk about things, when they need to talk about their problems, their relationships, just a shoulder, anything. I'm very open, I'm very honest, and I'm not judgmental. My friends have always known that they can come to me and I'm not going to judge them and they can be totally honest with me and I will be there. And this has given me a very unique perspective on things because I'm one of these people that, that a lot of people will open up to about things and no, I'll never specifically talk about anything, but I do know at this point in my life, after having this personality my whole life, that I know how that there are so many women that have this problem. I really do. What almost always comes out when they talk about when women come to me, their problems with their man, blah, 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 is that they don't have much of a sex life. And nine times out of ten, it's because the woman isn't enjoying it, and therefore they don't think it's important. They don't think it, they don't consider it a priority. And then when the men go and cheat, the woman is devastated and heartbroken, which rightfully she should be, but she didn't do anything wrong. It's only the man who did something wrong. Well, I'm sorry, if you haven't had sex with him for months and months and months, of course, you know, things, things are going to happen, you know, because sex is important. Now, don't get me wrong. I am, there are... I'm extremely against cheating. I don't think cheating is ever, ever okay. I'm very against being unfaithful. I'm also very much determined that sex is a priority. So, no, you never cheat, but 
Yeah, it's a priority in your relationship. So if you don't make it a priority, then what do you think is going to happen, honestly? <sighs> Anyways, taking time to be intimate with the person that you love is so important. <laughs> I can't imagine having that taken away from me. I would rather not exist than have the time with my husband, that intimate time taken away. It, it means everything. I, I don't understand how women cannot even value it at all. It's just, I don't think it's right. Um, and I really feel, it's not that I don't think it's right how they feel, because they feel that way because they're not enjoying it. So what I want to do is try to help them kind of break down those barriers so they can enjoy it. I'm not blaming them for not enjoying sex. It's not their fault. What I'm saying, ladies, is that, you know, let's, let's try some different things. Okay, so here is your mission, should you choose to accept it, and please accept it because it's, it will help you so, so, so much. Even if you have a great healthy sex life, it's fun. So accept this mission. All right. So when you have complete privacy and you'll be alone for at least a couple hours, turn off the lights in the bedroom, light a couple of candles because a candlelight is extremely flattering. So, you know, even if there are insecurities or, you know, candlelight makes you look really sexy and it's very romantic. So even if you're insecure about some things, most most likely those things will be all shadowed and you'll just look amazing no matter what. <laughs> Candlelight is awesome. So, light a couple of candles and set a timer for 30 minutes. Now, normally, of course, you know, it would be like set a timer, but in this case, I want you to set a timer. Now, you can always go longer, but do not go for less than 30 minutes, all right? Now, both of you get completely naked Get into bed, not under the covers, on top of the covers, in the candlelight, and rediscover the extremely intense power of touch and your love for one another. Take it, take it very, very slow. Do not have intercourse until the 30 minutes is up. Do not have sexual intercourse until those 30 minutes are done. You need to take this slow and relax and enjoy each other. That is the whole purpose of this exercise. Now, <clears throat> talk to one another, listen to one another. Do not hold back. Don't hold back, let yourself go. If you have an orgasm before you have intercourse, that's fine, it, it, it's okay. Anything that happens is okay. Just make sure to take those 30 minutes to very slowly and delicately rediscover one another. Don't rush it. Rushing through something as important as making love is the biggest mistake. It is just a huge mistake. Look into each other's eyes while you're doing this. Look in each other's eyes. Really honestly connect with one another. And just don't be shy. Love each other and adore each other. And make sure to keep eye contact while you're touching each other. I mean, you can look everywhere, but make sure to have that eye contact now and then throughout the 30 minutes, okay? So this is your challenge, your first challenge for my first sex video, which I know is basically an introductory video on what the series is going to be about. In the future, I will be doing question and answers. Um, this time, I just kind of wanted to give an introduction and, you know kind of give you an exercise to try to start out. I hope you enjoyed my first video talking about sex. I love y'all. This is Babbling Brooke, and until next time, adore each other and mean it.